A Brazilian family visiting the Jacksonville Landing on Sunday while on vacation is the latest family to announce a pending lawsuit against the Landing and EA Sports. Enrique and Jennifer Freitas say their two-year-old daughter was injured in the aftermath. Their lawyer is alleging negligence for not providing adequate security at the time of Sunday's double murder-suicide. I-Team investigator Tarek Miner spoke with the family and their attorney. Tarek. The couple also claims that they suffered both physical injuries and mental trauma. They say they were basically trampled as people ran for their lives after the gunfire. Now, this Brazilian family speaks Portuguese, and they talk to with us through an interpreter. 1.32 p.m. on Sunday, outside of Chicago Pizza, two-year-old Maria Freitas poses for a picture before going inside the restaurant for some French fries. They <laughs> took the pictures. They were right up to the door. And that's when they uh, heard a few shots uh, or something coming from the inside. Those shots ended up being the fatal bullets that killed Elijah Clayton and Taylor Robertson before the gunman David Katz turned the weapon on himself. Right after they heard the uh, first initial shots, they, uh, the door swung open and uh, various people just ran out of the, the, the establishment saying, help me, help me, and other things. And he didn't think too much and just grabbed his daughter and try to get away from the place. Enrique Freitas says he ran with his daughter in his arms, but when he looked back, he noticed his wife had stopped and was seemingly frozen in fear. So he grabs her and starts running. He looks back and she's somewhat paralyzed. She doesn't know what's going on at the time. So he, he tries to alert his wife, Jennifer, run, run. Freitas yelled for her to run for safety and she eventually did. But during the commotion, he fell with his daughter in his arms and suffered these injuries to his arms and legs. They say their two-year-old daughter also suffered head injuries as well. They thought they had escaped the crime in Brazil, only to witness more on vacation in Jacksonville. Their lawyer, Christopher Campione, points to a documented history of violence at the landing and plans to file a lawsuit against EA Sports and the landing for negligence. If there was an armed security guard or off-duty police officer, which is common at a lot of these type of events, would this have deterred a shooter from thinking he could go in there and shoot people indiscriminately? Uh, I think the answer is yes. Their attorney says a competitive gaming event with thousands of dollars on the line warranted either private security or an off-duty police officer at the landing. Mary?